Welcome my gorgeous Gemini. This is your general weekend energy reading. Do you remember that this is a general reading, please? So take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you have uh, other signs in your chart that you wanna check out, please do that. They may resonate with you more so. Otherwise, we are gonna use this deck for your general energy. We are gonna use another traditional deck for your challenge card. We also have a psychic deck, angel deck, and love deck that we will be using to give you kind of a full scope of what your weekend might entail, just in case you're interested. So if you do enjoy this, please do like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff to help me grow my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's get started. We aren't gonna be using reversals on this just to let you know since it is just a weekend energy reading. So, alrighty, so right now we have the Emperor card. Hopefully you can see these fairly well, but we will be going over them as well as clarifiers, of course. Uh, we have the Emperor card. We have the Tower card. And we have the Three of Wands. And I think this is what this is telling me is that there is somebody coming in or has been somebody coming in that is a, a very uh, strong masculine type dominant figure, could be a boss, could be a parental figure, could be a significant other, a spouse, something of that nature. And they are, they've been causing some issues. They are causing issues, um, but it's causing a tower moment for you. So I do feel as though you're going through something with somebody who is a, uh, a dominant figure. It could be you're going through, um, you're having a job change because you're just having problems with uh, an authority figure at work, a boss, something like that. You've either quit, um, you've been let go, some issue there, you just can't seem to make things work at work. You are going through a divorce with a spouse or a separation potentially, or you're just having real issues with a family member that you're very close to. Uh, something like that, but it is causing a tower moment, which is um, ultimately a need for, you know, things to come down. It's a need for you to basically just stop, make a complete and utter change. Um, it's like, right, you need to bottom, bottom level, level it all, start over, build anew. Um, so at this point, this is where something because of this person, because of an issue with this person, because of problems going on, you're basically ready to just, you have to start from scratch, dump it all and start from scratch. Um, this three of wands tells me though that this is kind of leaving you a little perplexed as to what direction you want to take now. Um, you've made the decision, so you're not like two of wands status, right? You're not like in the decision process. You already know that this has to happen. The decision to start over, start fresh, move on, rebuild, do what you've got to do has been, it's made for you or you've already made it. Um, but you're not on solid footing quite yet either. You're kind of at that moment where you're like, I'm not really sure what direction I want to take. So you're kind of feeling out your options, your opportunities. You're kind of looking to see what all is out there. What opportunities do I have? What options do I have? What do I want to do? Um, kind of feeling out your, your just what interests you have, what opportunities. Everything is kind of out there for you at this point, And you're just trying to decide what you want to do because this is maybe a position you've not been in in a long time. So if it's a new job, maybe you've been at that position a long time. If it's you are now newly single, this may be a position you haven't been at a long time. You've been in a long-term relationship for a very long time. Um, you know, or if this is a situation where you're now not speaking to uh, you know, certain family members or you've moved out from your family or what have you. This is something that's all new to you. So you are um, kind of at a, uh, a point where you're a little bit perplexed or, um, you know, kind of a, a little bit lost, but not, I mean, not necessarily in a, in a bad way. It can also be kind of like all fresh and anew, but at first it does feel a little bit overwhelming. So let's see what your challenge card is um, in addition to all of this. <laughs> Um, it is a decision card, um, two of swords. So you have, uh, it does look like you may have narrowed down some options or some things that you really have thought about or want to do, but you just don't know how to pr proceed with those. Um, if you look at the two of swords, the person in there, she's blindfolded. Um, so you feel very much like you don't really know what to do here. This is new uncharted territory. You kind of you kind of know um, of a couple routes you want to take, a couple ideas that you've got in your head, but you just really don't know how to make them happen. 
um, because again, this may be very, very new for you, uncharted territory, something you haven't been um, faced with for quite a while. You know, you may have been, again, this may have been a college sweetheart or high school sweetheart you've been with for years and years and you, this is the first time that this has happened or uh, again, you've been in the same job for a, a multitude of years and you just couldn't take it anymore, um, you know, or maybe you retired at this point, you know, it could be anything at this point where it's a major, major shift, major change, a tower moment. And now you've kind of got these two options that you kind of have in mind that you want to take one of these two routes, but you really aren't sure how to go about taking these two routes, um, either or, because it's so new. Uh, but let's see if we can get some advice or clarification on what to do for you in those um, in those decisions, should you make one or what to make or how to go about it, those kinds of things, because it is something that is, um, you know, it is kind of perplexing and it is confusing anytime you're starting something new, especially if it's something that you haven't done in a long time or tried in a long time. Everything's always changing. And, um, you know, so even if you were once upon a time, really, really good at adjusting to things. Everything's so different now. Um, foundation and achievements. So I feel like here that may be part of why you're blindfolded is this emperor, this emperor signified, uh, your foundation. Um, you know, that's where you had all your foundations and achievements was, you know, either your job or your home, you know, you felt very solid, very, um, like, you were on solid foundation. Um, you had made good achievements, good strides, good, you know, movement. And, and because that is, um, a situation where it's now kind of faced a tower moment, this is what's making you feel a little bit like you're blindfolded and kind of off. Um, and you don't really know which way to go to rebuild these foundations. Um, because you know, you, you know, you have the support, um, and I think that's, this is what this card is saying. This card is saying you have support. You have family support out there other than, you know, what you were thinking. You know, you do have other family, other support out there. Um, the three of, of wands, you're looking out, uh, you know, look out to other friends, family members, other support options um, that you might have when you need to, because there are other people who can kind of help you to find your way. Um, and I do think that that is something that you should certainly, you know, think about because anytime you are starting something new, you are probably going to need help. Um, you know, it's ever changing. The job market is ever changing. Relationships are ever changing. Dating world is ever changing. Um, heck, buying a home for yourself, if you haven't done that in a while, is ever changing. Everything is, you know, it's going to take some help. You know, it takes a village, they say. So, um, you know, it's okay to reach out to other people that you've had, um, for some achievement and foundation help. Um, and again, the number four is here, if that is anything that means something to you. So keep that in mind. Uh, we'll pull your guardian angel card and see if they can give you any further advice, assistance, um, things to think about that might help you as well uh, along the way. But I do feel like, you know, you're gonna be just fine, but you need to um, really seek help, I believe, because in this, the particular moments that you're in now, you are feeling very, blindfolded um, with going forward. Inspiration. And I think that inspiration card coming in next to this, um, you know, next to the tower moment and the blindfolded decision making idea here under the foundation and achievements is saying, you know, the one thing that you need to look to other than help from people is look inside yourself. What are you most inspired by? And those are the things that you need to decide to choose towards. If you go, they always say, same thing I've you know, i heard a million times. If you do something you enjoy, you never work a day in your life, right? So find the things that inspire you. Go towards your inspiration and it will be much easier for you than if it's something where you have to feel like you're up against it. You're having to work to get it. You're having to really try, force it, do those kinds of things. So if you're inspired by something, so if you're trying to choose, okay, you know, I'm coming out of this difficult situation. I'm starting from scratch. I know I have a history um, of working in this field, making money in this field, uh, living in this area. You know, this is more my safer, secure route, but it doesn't inspire me. I can't stand it. I don't really like it, I, but I just know it's the safer route. 
but this one over here is the route that really inspires me. I've always wanted to do it, but I've never, you know, it's a riskier route. You know, that may, now may be the time because look, it's telling you your tower came down even on your safe route. Okay. So now may be the time to reach out to, you know, other people that can help you build a foundation and find achievements on things that inspire you. And then if you're finding your joy that way, you're going to be a lot happier, a lot more fulfilled. Um, let's check your love card too and see if there's anything there. Um, but that may be what it, what should drive you that, you know, when you're making your decision, when you're looking out into the great abyss and saying, you know, gosh, what do I do with my life now? Um, what inspires you ultimately, you know, don't, don't follow the safest path because even when you're following the safest path, it can still come crashing down on you. And this should be a lesson there because you may have followed the path that was what picked, you know, you followed the book by the book. I married my sweetheart. I did what I was supposed to do. I went to school the way I was supposed to. I followed the, the right path. I did the job I was supposed to everything I did and it still came crashing down. Okay. That can happen. Um, so, you know, if that's going to happen anyway, at least this time you might want to follow your inspiration, the things you enjoy, um, and, and take a risk that way. But let's see what your love card says. So it says unrequited love. So I think the thing here is it's saying that, you know, you're looking out here, you're making a choice and, you know, with unrequited love, it's saying that no matter how hard you try, you can always have that chance of having something that does not fulfill you. Okay, you can give and give and give and it may not give back. Um, you know, that may be what was the situation here. This may have been an issue with unrequited love here. Um, you know, it may have come back to after years and years and years, you just did not f feel like that was a fulfilling relationship. Um, you know, that may very well have been what the situation was. You may have spent a very long time um, and now you're looking back going, gosh, I wasted so many years and I did everything I was supposed to do. I was the wife, the mother, the, or the husband, the spouse, the, the father, the whatever. Um, I did everything I was supposed to do. I worked, I did, you know, I was the great employee. I was all these things, but it didn't, it still didn't come to fruition. I still felt like there was unrequited love and, and, and the extent that I don't feel like I got back what I put in. Um, so again, I think what it's saying is this time do it for yourself. Do it for the things that inspire you. Build your foundation and achievements based on what you love, what your happiness, your rainbow of joy is, what your happiness is, and make the decision based on what you feel blindfolded. You know, what you feel, what joy is brought to you, what is happiness brought to you, not what you see, not what you're supposed to see, not what you're told to see, but what you feel, what your inspiration is. So. I hope this is um, resonates with some of you. If it does, please do like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, otherwise, check out one of the other signs in your chart. Um, but please, you know, do try to, if it just does resonate with you, please do try to look inside yourself and find out what it is that brings you joy. Um, because I think that that's what's going to make you the happiest in the end. Um, so have you, I hope you have a great weekend and I hope everything works out for you. Bye.